This man is Julius Robert Oppenheimer, Robert in short. He underwent a closed trial intended at destroying his reputation as the most influential physicist in that era. Then, from another point of view, there was Louis Strauss who underwent a trial for eligibility to become the United States' Minister of Commerce. He told the story of how he first met Robert. Back to Robert. He explained the beginning of his fame as one of the most influential physicists in his era. It all started when Robert studied physics in Germany after finding out that he was really into physics and was a prodigy. At that time, Germany was developing an innovative theory of quantum mechanics. After years of studying, he felt that he had become an expert in quantum mechanics and physics, so he applied for a job and became a lecturer at a campus in the Netherlands. He then met Isidor Isaac Grabby, who brought him together with a very famous German physicist named Heisenberg. In 1927, Robert finally received a doctoral degree and a professor degree at one of the campuses in the U.S. He then taught quantum mechanics which were still uncommon in America. He was also close friends with one of the world's top physicists named Ernest Lawrence. Initially, Robert only had one student, but over time, more students became interested in his class and liked to discuss with him because the lesson he brought was very interesting. Lawrence then invited Robert to have dinner with the others at an event. Robert's brother named Frank also came. There, Robert met with a woman named Jean, who adhered to the ideology of communism. Since their meeting, they became closer over time and became a lover. It didn't stop there. Robert also met a woman named Kitty and became so close to her that she ended up married to Robert. Jean was disappointed with the marriage, but even so, Robert still kept in touch with Jean. The next day, when Robert was at the campus, Lawrence told Robert that he had to be careful because the Germans had succeeded in making a new kind of bomb which was believed to have a very powerful explosion and that he could be spied on by the Germans because previously, he had studied in Germany and he could be considered a threat. Sure enough, soon a general named Leslie Groves came and invited Robert to participate in a project called the Manhattan Project. The purpose of this project was to make a bomb that can compete with Germany's which was more advanced in making new types of bombs. Since America was left behind in terms of weaponry, they can lose badly to Germany in World War II. Hearing this, Robert agreed to run the Manhattan Project. He then asked Leslie to make four research laboratories scattered in a location called Los Alamos that could be reached by using trains and made a small town in the middle of it, specially made for the workers so they could bring their families on duty that would take a very long time. In addition, the place was also suitable for this very secret research and also far from settlements for testing the bomb, Leslie agreed and immediately granted Robert's requests. In mid-development, Robert and Leslie met famous physicists in America to invite them to the project. Some of them disagree because of the requirements to stay in a remote place for a very long time. But since the states needed their services to win the Second World War against the Germans, they had no other choice but to join in. Isaac, who was ordered to join the Manhattan Project, was reluctant because this project could cause serious problems, even a bigger one of which can destroy the world and lead into a more terrible war, but even so, he had no other choice but to serve his country. Long story short, the town was successfully built. Robert, along with the other physicists, immediately started the project, but soon after, Robert found a problem because of an incorrect calculation. A physicist named Edward Teller confused everyone. Robert thought that Teller's calculation was wrong. Therefore, a confused Robert went to see Albert Einstein for help. After meeting with Einstein and giving Teller's calculation, Einstein felt that if a bomb used this calculation, the bomb's explosion will be so big it can even damage the Earth's atmosphere. The next day, Robert invited Kitty and his two children to live in Los Alamos because he had to be there often for the project. After that, Robert and other physicists discussed the materials to be used for the core of the atomic bomb, namely uranium and plutonium, which were expected to have the explosive power equivalent to a thousand tons of TNT, but Teller suggested they use hydrogen because according to him, the explosive power would be greater and they could get an explosive power equivalent to a million ton of TNT. Instead of the better option suggested by Teller, Robert still chose to use uranium and plutonium instead. They then discussed the model of the trigger for the core fusion to detonate the explosion. Soon after, a physicist named Klaus Fuchs came to participate in the Manhattan Project after Robert recruited him. Because of his actions for recruiting someone as he pleased, Leslie was angry because it was a very confidential project and there could be spies from Russia or Germany who secretly worked there if they were not careful. Hearing that, Robert agreed and asked Leslie to recruit his younger brother, Frank, and his best friend, Lawrence. The next day, Lawrence and Frank came to help Robert in the Manhattan Project. In between the project, Robert also secretly went to meet Jean several times without Kitty's knowledge. They even tend to spend the night together. A few days later, during a meeting, Robert's colleagues boasted that they were not making a new weapon, but a new history because the bomb will be a big breakthrough. One day, Robert got the news that Jean had killed herself in the bathroom of her apartment, allegedly due to depression. 
But there was another opinion if Jean was killed by the American government because she adheres to the ideology of communism, just like the Germans. Jean's death was a hard blow for Robert. After Robert went over his sorrow, he and the others got into trouble because their research was not showing any significant progress. Meanwhile, Teller made the other physicists annoyed for researching the hydrogen bomb which they decided not to make, so the other physicists wanted Teller to leave the project. Robert finally intervened and started overhauling all the tasks of his colleagues. Klaus Fuchs was appointed by Robert to replace Teller's tasks. Not wanting to lose Teller, Robert finally allowed him to do any research he wanted and would invite him for a meeting once a week. After the tasks were overhauled, the making of the atomic bomb finally progressed. They started by making the model of the atomic bomb, building the tower for the bomb test later and also testing the mini-scale of the bombs. Feeling progress was made, Leslie asked Robert to complete the bomb in July. Inevitably, Robert had to agree even though he told Leslie earlier that the bomb would be finished in September. Robert came to a meeting attended by several officials and a military general. They discussed the location to drop the bomb on Japan because the Nazis had been defeated, even though the bomb was originally made to destroy Germany. They initially wanted to drop the bomb on Tokyo, but it was opposed because there would be just a few casualties. They all finally agreed to drop the atomic bomb on two cities, namely Hiroshima and Nagasaki, because these two cities were Japan's military headquarters. Moreover, it was estimated that there would be a lot of casualties and for sure, Japan would be forced to surrender. Long story short, Robert succeeded in perfecting his atomic bomb and intended to test it by dropping it from the top of the tower that has been prepared. All the physicists worked together to prepare the test by assembling a smaller scale of the bomb. Not only that, Robert and the others also made several posts with calculated distances for them to see the explosion from the atomic bomb while avoiding the harm caused by the shockwave. They intended to test the bomb at night so they could clearly see the explosion. When the night came, unfortunately, the weather was not suitable for the test, so the trial inevitably had to be postponed. Even though it was postponed, they all still had to prepare for the test by checking the bomb periodically, and after the rain stopped, Robert started the test. One of the physicists was also asked to see the changes in the electric current, because the slightest change could be fatal. The test went as expected and people were very happy, because with the help of the atomic bomb, Japan would be defeated, and the Second World War would end. Everyone in Los Alamos congratulated Robert for his brilliance in leading the research. The next day after the test succeeded, they managed to build two atomic bombs with a larger size and explosive power. The two bombs would be dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki soon. After succeeding in making the atomic bombs, Robert somehow felt that his invention might also trigger another war between countries. On August 6, 1945, the city of Hiroshima, Japan was successfully bombed using an atomic bomb for the first time. Of course, that made the military soldiers very happy with the landslide victory of America, but not for physicists, because thanks to their invention, many innocent civilians were also affected. America's big victory famed Robert Oppenheimer's name to the whole world. Robert then went to an event to speak in front of many people who were very happy about his invention, but even so, Robert continued to feel guilty for the death of many people in Japan. He even began hallucinating. The next day, Robert met with the President of America at that time, Harry S. Truman. The president congratulated him on his invention which managed to save the lives of many American soldiers. During the meeting, Robert told the president that they had to develop cooperation in the field of atomic energy because Russia would certainly try to develop a bomb that was more powerful than what they had. Hearing the explanation, the president ordered the advancement of Los Alamos for better explosive testing and manufacturing, but Robert, who was still reluctant because of the atomic bomb he invented and the feeling that he had killed many innocent people, made the president angry. The president said that the world certainly didn't care who made the bomb, but who dropped it, and indirectly, President Truman was definitely responsible for the deaths. That night, Robert attended a meeting where he met Lewis who told him that the person he recruited earlier, namely Klaus Fuchs, is a spy from Russia. Thanks to Robert's negligence, he was suspected by the FBI for being a Russian spy. Robert also attended another event where they announced the number of deaths from the bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. This made Robert's disappointment in himself even greater. After that, Robert met Teller who told him that the discovery of the atomic bomb did not end the Second World War, instead, it was the beginning of the first Cold War between America and Russia. After his sacrifice for the nation, he started facing many problems. One of them was his problem with Lewis who felt humiliated by him during the trial for the export of atomic bomb material. Lewis hated Robert even more because he considered that Robert had incited Albert Einstein to hate him when he brought Robert together with Einstein. Therefore, Lewis contacted someone named William Borden to investigate Robert's past who had been close to several Germans and was also accused of being a Russian spy. 
Because of this, Robert had to undergo a closed trial where Lewis ordered someone named Roger Robb to make Robert lose the trial. From the trial, it was revealed that not only about Robert's morale which was disturbed due to the effect of the atomic bomb he made, but also mistakes from Robert's past, such as appointing project members who turned out to be spies, the death of his mistress, and so on. Even though Kitty knew that Robert was cheating on her, she still defended Robert. Finally, Robert also dared to fight the higher-ups at the trial. At the trial, Lewis presented a testator that was sure would side with him named David, but David instead revealed that many scientists actually hated Lewis. This statement immediately made Lewis fail to become the Minister of Commerce. After various accusations leveled against him, Robert was finally declared loyal to his country, but he had to lose access to the project which made him unable to participate in the development of the hydrogen bomb led by Teller. But even so, Robert accepted the results of his trial gracefully. In the end, it was revealed that Robert did not incite Einstein to hate Lewis, but they both talked about moments in the past when Robert discussed the mathematical formula regarding the effects of the explosion caused by the atomic bomb that he was working on which turned out to have the potential to destroy the world.